Hello class! Welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, our topic is all about real-life problems involving inverse functions. Okay? So let's have our first example. Andrew and his friend are playing a number guessing game and Andrew asks his friend to think a positive number then add 3 to the number next square the, the resulting number and multiply by 4. Okay, then finally, divide the result by 2. Then if you are his friend and you get a result of 50, write an inverse function that will give you the original number and determine the original number. So dito guys, ang pinagagawa sa atin is um, kunin daw natin si inverse, si inverse function that will give us the original number. Okay? Then, determine the original number. So, una, balikan muna natin, guys, yung, yung pinagawa ni Andrew para makuha natin, guys, yung ating model o yung ating pinaka-original function. Okay? So, try natin. So, sabi dito, Andrew asked his friend to think a positive number. So, let's say itong positive number, let x natin. Okay? So let x be the positive be the positive number then add 3 then after niyan next square the resulting number so i square down natin to guys then after that multiply the result by 4 so meron tayong 4 dito then finally divide the result by 2 okay so all over to tayo then, nung pinagawa ni Andrew to guys, ang lumabas na result ay 50. Okay, so ngayon, para makuha natin yung original number, is kailangan kunin natin yung inverse function nitong ating model. Okay, so try natin kunin yung inverse function. So first, uh, palitan natin si f of x ng y. So we have y equals 4 <coughs> times x plus 3 square all over 2. Tama? Then, after natin mapalitan si f of x, interchange natin si y and x. So, this time, we have x equals 4 times the quantity of y plus 3 square all over 2. Okay? So, dito guys, uh, we need to solve for y in terms of x. So, kailangan ma-isolate natin si y sa isang side ng ating equation. Tama? So, pwede na una... Tanggalin muna natin yung fractions by multiplying both sides of the equation by 2. So, maka-cancel out natin to. Tama? So, we have 2x equals 4 times the quantity of y plus 3 square. Okay? So, this time, pwede natin i-divide both sides of the equation by 4 para maka-cancel out natin tong nasa labas. Okay? So, ano nga yung mangyayari sa ating equation? We have 2x over 4, or that is x over 2. Tama? Kasi makakancel natin si 2 dyan, tsaka si 4 dito, so magiging 1 and 2. Okay? So, we have x over 2 equals um, y plus 3 square. So, ngayon, ang next natin tatanggalin dito is yung square by extracting the square root to both sides of the equation. Okay? So, meron tayong square root of x over 2 dito sa left side ng ating equation. Sa right side naman, makakancel yung square root and yung square. Okay? So, meron na lang tayong y plus 3. Okay? Then, finally, pwede na nating ma-isolate si y. Pag nilipat natin si 3 sa left side, we have uh, square root of x plus 2 minus 3 equals y. So, nasolve na natin si y guys. Ito na ngayon yung ating um, inverse function. Okay, so meron tayong square root of x over 2 minus 3. Okay. So, ngayon guys, nagawa na natin yung inver inverse function that will give us the original number. 
So, ang letter B natin is determine the original number. Ano raw yung ating original number uh, if the result is 50? Di ba nung pinagawa ni Andrew sa kanyang kaibigan, ang lumabas dun sa kanyang kaibigan is 50. Okay? So, ano ngayon yung ating original number? So, para makuha yung original number, i-input natin si 50 guys doon sa ating uh, inverse function. Okay, so try natin. So, pag in-input natin si 50, magiging um, the inverse ng functions natin, ang x natin is 50. So, sa substitute natin si x dun sa ating, or si 50 dun sa ating variable. So, that is 50 over 2 minus 3. Tama? So, simplify natin to guys. So, 50 divided by 2, that is square root of 25. Then, ang square root of 25 is 5 minus 3. So, ang ating uh, sagot is positive 2. So, ibig sabihin, okay, ang original number na uh, pinili ng kanyang kaibigan is 2. Okay? So, kung 2 yung ating uh, positive number, ang ating result ay 50. Nakuha guys? So, let's have another example. Number 2. The SSG officers of Kamuhagin National High School are planning for a JS prom. So, the allocated budget for decorations, sounds, and other miscellaneous expenses is 10,000 pesos. Okay? And an additional 150 for a meal expenses for each guest. So the, org the organization received an amount of 40,000 from its external stakeholders. So ano yung pinagagawa sa atin? Letter A, write the total allocated budget as a function of the number of guests. Then letter B, find the inverse of the function. Then letter C, Find the possible number of guests for a budget of 40,000. So, unahin muna natin guys yung letter A. So, sabi dito, uh, write the total allocated budget as a function. Okay, so try natin. So, first, um, let X be the number of guests. Okay, so mag-assign muna tayo ng variable doon sa ating number of guests. Then, yung ating um, total allocated budget, yan naman guys yung ating f of x. Tama? f of x be the allocated budget. So, ngayon guys, uh, para magawa natin yung ating function, okay? So, babalikan natin yung mga given natin. So, sabi dito, uh, the allocated budget for the decoration, sounds, and other miscellaneous expenses is 10,000 pesos. Okay, ibig sabihin, ang f of x natin is may initial na 10,000. Tama guys? Then bukod dyan, sa ating uh, allocated budget, meron daw yung additional 150 pesos. Okay? So mag-add tayo ng 150, sabi dyan, Additional 150 for meal expenses for each guest. Okay? So, mag-add tayo ng 150. Then, ano ba yung uh, each guest natin? Ang guest natin, guys, is yung X. So, meron tayong 150 times X. Nakuha, guys? So, ito na ngayon yung ating um, function. Okay? So, pwede na tayong mag-proceed kay letter B. So, kay letter B guys, ang pinagagawa is find the inverse of the function. So, para magawa natin guys, yung inverse ng ating function, ang first step natin dyan is palitan natin si f of x ng y. Okay, so meron tayong equation na y equals uh, 10,000 plus 150x. Okay, so in getting the inverse function, ang next step natin is interchange natin si y and x. Okay, so si y magiging x, then yung ating x magiging y. Okay, 
So, ngayon, solve natin si y in terms of x. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, kila ma-isolate natin si y sa one side ng ating equation. So, try natin. So, first, pwede natin tanggalin si 10,000. So, that is x minus 10,000 equals 150y. Tama? Then, next step natin, pwede tayong mag-divide both sides sa ating equation ng 150 para ma-cancel out natin to. Tama? Para tuluyan natin ma-isolate si y sa right side ng ating equation. So, that is x minus 10,000 all over 150 is equals to y. Okay? So, ito na ngayon guys yung ating inverse function. Okay? So, meron tayong inverse function is equals to x minus 10,000 all over 150. Nakuha guys? So, yan na yung ating letter B. So, ang last problem natin is find the possible number of guests for a budget of 40,000. Okay, so para makuha natin guys yung possible number of guests for a budget of 40,000, kailangan nyo lang i-input si 40,000 dito sa ating inverse function. Okay, so to solve natin yan, input natin si 40,000 dito sa ating inverse function. So we have uh, 40,000. So yung x natin dito is magiging 40,000. Then, minus 10,000 all over 150. Tama? So, solve natin to. 40,000 minus 10,000, that is 30,000. Then, divided by 150. So, that is equals to 200. Okay? So, itong 200, guys, ito na yung um, number of possible guests. Okay? Na pwede doon sa ating al uh, allotted budget na 40,000. Nakuha guys? So, this is the end of our video. I hope uh, naintindihan nyo kung paano ba mag-solve ng problems involving inverse function. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kind kindly put them in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!